Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and today I'm going to show you a quick workout for the abdominals. It, doing this workout will not only sculpt your abdominals but it'll also keep you free from injury and help lessen and take away that back pain that sometimes we feel when we're doing exercises or just going through our daily lives. So everybody's probably heard about the rectus abdominis. Those are the, the six pack muscles that everybody likes to, to try to get. And those are great, but working the rectus abdominis alone won't actually give you a nice flat belly. That is only achieved through working the transverse abdominals. The transverse abdominals actually attach in the back here in the spine and they wrap around our body underneath our rectus abdominal, abdominals right around here. It's kind of like coming around like a corset or like a pair of Spanx. It's kind of like that's our internal muscle that does that. And if it's properly activated, it lengthens the torso, it cinch in the weights, waist, and also flattens our belly. And so to get that nice flat belly, we actually need to work the transverse abdominals. So today I'm gonna to show you three exercises to work it. And these can be done as a beginner up to advanced. Um, when I do them, I can feel them really well. And if you've never done them before, these are great exercises for everybody to do. And um, also the transverse abdominals um, protects our spine. So it's a real, really important uh, muscle to work. So here we go. So the first exercise we're doing today is called the bird dog, which just means like, so if you have a dog and it sees a bird, obviously you're gonna, they're gonna point at it with their tail out. So we're trying to pretend like we're that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do opposite leg arm. And first of all, when you're, when you're activating the um, transverse abdominis, what you do is you want to blow, or take a deep breath in first, and then blow it all out. And the feeling you want to get is there's two ways that I've heard it described or that I've thought about to describe it is one of them is to pull the belly button to the spine. And I've even said like, pretend there's a big button that you attach to a string on your belly button. And then you've got a string through here and you're pulling it. So you're not sucking your abs in. You're actually like here, I'm going to push up my abs out a little bit and then I'm going to pull that butt, belly button to the spine. And the biggest problem I think is sometimes is that we have to actually talk and breathe while we're in this position. So it's not gonna be a position that you're gonna hold all day, but you can hold it and also breathe. So it's not the most comfortable relaxing position, but it's also a position that you can breathe in. So deep breath, blow out all your air and pull that belly button to your spine. And another thing I've heard it, um, talked about is that you zip up a pair of pants, like a tight pair of jeans. You're thinking about um, blowing your air out and <sighs> zipping up that tight pair of jeans, okay? So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna take another deep breath. <sighs> Blow out all our air, pull our belly button to the spine, nice and tight so we have that internal weight belt activated. And we're just gonna take opposite leg arms. So I'm gonna push out raise my right arm and push out my left leg. And I'm gonna keep put my head down so it's in alignment with that spine. And then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna go out with my left arm, right leg. Abs really tight. Make sure that's activated. Two, we're gonna do about eight of these. There's three, abs tight. Pull that belly button in. There's four, three, four. And again with the right arm, left leg, five. Left arm, right leg, six. Good, let's do two more. Seven, abs tight. And one more. Activate those abs, pull the belly button to spine and rest. And obviously we're doing these exercises quite slowly we want to make sure that we're really activating those abs. Let's go ahead and breathe. Deep breath through those abs. And this one is called, just called the knee hover. So we're going to put our feet down. You can have shoes on if you want. I'm just have my socks on, but I'm going to put my toes down and I'm going to actually just activate those abs, blow the air out, belly button to spine, zip up those pants so that that, that transverse abdominis or the TBA is activated. And then I'm just gonna come up on my toes and hover my knees. That's all it is, it's just a knee hover. 
And I can really feel my abs in this. This seems, looks really simple, but I can really feel my abs when I do this, the transverse abdominals. And down, we're gonna come up and hover again. So that's two, abs tight. Pull those abs in, three, four, five. Make sure you keep breathing. Make sure you're breathing through it, but keep those abs nice and tight. Six, seven, eight. We're gonna do a couple more. Nine, abs nice and tight. 10, and rest. And another thing you can do on this one is just hold it up there and, and count, you know what I mean? So you can just bring your knees up and just count. We'll do a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very nice. Whew. Another thing I, I feel in that one is I always feel my arm, my shoulders and arms a little bit too. So that's a, that's a bonus, I guess. All right, now this time we're going to lay down on the floor with our back flat. We're gonna make sure that we have our knees bent and our feet flat on the floor, okay? And so this time what we're going to do is we're gonna do another opposite leg arm thing. So, and don't worry too much about like, if you get your arms in the wrong time, mainly it's about activating that transverse abdominus or your internal weight belt. So you're just gonna make sure you, you do that. If you hit one arm or leg wrong, that's okay too, because I do it all the time. But this one is called, number three is the dead bug, which is gross, I know, but it's it looks like a dead bug, because you see a dead bug, sometimes our legs are up. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start like this. So our legs are kind of like tabletop, uh, 90 degree angle here at the hips and the quads and then your arms are just gonna be straight up. And we're gonna do opposite leg arm again. So I'm gonna go out with my right leg and left arm first. And oh, the, the most, one of the most important things to think about here is you wanna keep the back flat. So when you take that deep breath and blow it all out, zip up those abs, that transverse abdominus, activate the, that transverse abdominus, and then see how my back is completely flat. You don't wanna have any, um, any 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 distance between your back and the floor. You want your back to be completely flat on that floor. Abs pulled in tight. Remember, but remember, belly button to spine. So now my TVA is activated. My back is nice and flat. And you want to recorrect that every time if you feel that back pop up at all. Okay. So we're going to go into that dead bug position. We're going to go out with our right leg, left arm. So out, nice and long, and come up to dead bug to the starting position. And then we're gonna go out with the left leg and right arm. Two and three. Make sure those abs are activated. Nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this workout today. And um, just let, let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And um, please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.